Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Diecast Emporium. Today, we're going to take a look at one of the newest offerings from Diecast Masters. It is the Caterpillar 336 Hydraulic Excavator Next Generation. The item number is 85586, and it is part of their Highline series, so it does come in the collectible tin. So on the front of it, you can see it has a picture of the scale model. As usual, on the side, you have the Diecast Masters Real Replicas logo, Highline series, and your aforementioned item number. On the reverse side, you have a picture of the real machine and some specification details of the real machine. Pause the video if you would like to educate yourself. And on top of the tin, you have a picture of the excavator loading a 730C articulated dump truck. Let's go ahead and get this thing open and take a look at what's inside. All of the new Diecast Masters models do come with our good friend Bob the Operator inside. So you can opt to put him in or leave him out. And also a pair of tweezers. So that can help you put the operator in the cab. But in all honesty, you really don't need it. Here is an instruction sheet, which you also don't need to tell you how to lift up the piece of the cab to put the operator in. But it's a nice inclusion in case you need some help with that. And also here is the newest brochure of the 2019 lineup of CAT model offerings. So with that out of the way, allow me just a moment here to get the model out of the tin. And we will take a look at it from there. Here it is. Alright, so... First thing that we will look at is the detail on this model, and then we'll go into the functions. So, all of the hand and grab rails are thin metal. They are not plastic, thankfully. They do have the kind of flimsy and really thin hydraulic lines, similar to those that were on the 349. So if you have the 349, you kind of have an idea of what the hydraulic lines look like and what they, what they kind of move around and look like, so... If you're a fan of them, they're very, very similar. You have a couple mirrors here, which are also um, thin gauge plastic, but the color match is good. Here is the new CAT logo with 336, so it looks pretty good. You have your exhaust up here on the top. CAT on the back with two lights. On this side, you have the CAT right here on the seat. And actually, there is a CAT logo that's printed just on the seat back here. And they've really done a, a quite a nice job of detailing the cab. So it's a little bit difficult to see. But if you can look just inside, inside the operator's compartment, it is quite detailed. And they've really done a decent job of making that a little bit more presentable. So it's certainly not CCM quality, don't get me wrong. But they've really done an impressive job of updating the quality of inside the cab on the on this excavator in particular. You'll be quite pleased to see the, the difference. So there's that. While we have this view, you can see the, the swing motor, some more hydraulic lines. You have some anti-slip texturing as well up here, which looks great. All right, coming up over here, cat decal as well. And you have some warning labels here. There's also another one on the reverse side. There's a couple tie-down decals here on the track frame. Another warning label here. If you look, I'm not sure how much my camera can pick it up, but this section right here, I will outline it with my finger a little bit. That is slightly off color. I'm not sure how well that's going to turn up on my camera. I don't know why that is, and I also don't know if that's the case on the real machine. I tried to look up some reference pictures, but they really weren't all that great for reference, ironically. But uh, do note that. You can actually see it pretty well there if I turn it. It's a darker shade of that cat yellow. All right, so that's for the, um, the details. Let's go into the functions. Just for time's sake, I'm going to leave the top of the cab off. I don't really think you guys care. But uh, to put Bob in, you just slide him in there. You see these two holes. The top of the cab part is plastic. The rest of the cab is metal for the most part. And it just clicks in. It is a solid fit, so there's nothing sticking out. It, it clicks shut pretty well, so nothing to worry about there. 
Uh, the tracks move very well on any surface with friction, and even on this relatively smooth surface, it rolls quite well. Underneath, not much in terms of detail at all. The tracks are individually linked. They are spring-loaded. But you've come to expect that from most Diecast Masters models these days, so that's nothing new. Swings relatively easily. Range of motion. Pretty decent. Goes up to about that high. Swing out to there. Bucket curl out to there. This could be a whole lot better, but that's as far as it'll go. You can see that there's still a lot of the cylinder exposed. Fortunately, that is as far as it will go. That'll go into there. So you can get it to tuck up nice and tight for a transport load, which I will demonstrate right now. So that'll look good. But yeah, the uh, in terms of your digging depth, that could be... That could be improved a lot. But still, still in all, it's not, it's not terrible. So there you go, guys. That is the next generation Cat 336 by Diecast Masters in 1 to 50 scale. Really quite a nice model. Reasonably priced as well. If you're into excavators and uh, you like cat machines, you like Diecast Masters models, I would, re I, I would recommend picking one of these up. They're not, like I said, they're not too expensive. Um, you will, some of the highlights, I think, obviously, other than the, the new design of the, uh, car body, that kind of thing, is, uh, functionality is decent, not the best, but the ergonomics, the detail of the cab, that has been changed quite a lot. Uh, you also have the ability to place Bob in and out of the cab, so I know a lot of people will look at that. The tracks are somewhat detailed. There are no working rollers, but other than that, they look pretty good. And compared to some other competitors' excavator prices these days, which have soared and kind of gotten a little out of control, I think it's priced reasonably. I really do. It's not too expensive, and it's not too cheap, and it's built uh, reasonably well. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. If you like this video, take two seconds and let me know. It's always nice to hear some positive thoughts. But until next time, guys, take care, be safe. We'll see you in the next video.